Hi, I'm Sabrina Zhong. I'm a junior at Penn State University. I'm going to be the orientation leader for fall 2019. Hi, I'm Izzy Brady. I'm also a junior here at Penn State, and I'll also be an orientation leader in fall 2019. And we're so excited to meet you guys. Well, orientation is a very important activity here because um, it gets me to adapt to the new environment. I made a lot of friends here, so I want you guys just to know more about the new environment. It was so awesome to be an American student that got to become really acquainted with all the international students here on campus and just like even though we're here in Pennsylvania, USA, got to meet so many people from so many places and from so many different cultures. And I know for most of the students a very important part of the adjustment is the food in America. So I can either eat in dining halls or downtown and today we're going to be showing you how life is like here. There's one topping. Macaroons. Okay. <laughs> These are good. Mm -hmm. I like this flavor. How long did it take you, once you came from China, to find like a favorite food or like really good comfort food that's here in America that you wouldn't get at home? A couple of months. Honestly, I really wasn't used to like the food here for my first week. And then I started like going to more restaurants, going to more dining halls. You gradually get to discover all this amazing food. And I must say, like my favorite food would be like Mexi Mexican style mm -hmm. rice balls. I've never heard of this in China. So other than food, what was the hardest part for you of coming here and trying to adjust? Mm -hmm. You gotta miss home a lot. Um, you don't have that many friends mm -hmm. at the beginning, so you kind of, like, sometimes you might feel a bit lonely. Yeah. So I went to a lot of, like, the clubs meeting, mm -hmm. and then I joined Thong, which both of us were in. Yes. Um, it's a lot of fun. I made a lot of friends. Even though I'm a domestic student, once I came here in my first semester, I also felt super lonely because I didn't know anybody either. <laughs> it, like, takes a little while. Yes. It's, it takes pretty sometimes to have the courage to, to get out for your mm -hmm. comfort zone. Cheers. So you did tell me about your future career planning. Well, now that I'm a junior, I've started applying to graduate school and PhD programs. You're doing the same thing, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. My three best professors, they give me a lot of advice. The professors are one of the best parts here at Penn State. I love, oh, I love them. Some of them yeah, are just so great. So thank you so much for joining us on this little tour of Penn State, and we're really excited to see you in the summer. See you then.